today in this video we will discuss about the refraction of light through a glass prism already we discussed about the refraction of light through a glass slab and refraction of light through or refraction of light at convex spherical surface and refraction of light through a prism all those we discussed and today we will discuss about the refraction of light through a prism refraction of light through a prism you are familiar with prism and already we did experiment of refraction of light through a prism in the standard so here we will discuss about the theory part so we are considering a prism We are considering a prism A B C. So the angle, the two refracting surfaces are A B and A C. The angle made by the two refracting surfaces is known as angle of the prism. Okay. So here in lab you might have seen equilateral prism. Equilateral prism means all that the angles will be sixty degree. Okay. And A C is incident. PQ is incident and we can draw normal at this point. So it will it is traveling from rare to denser medium. So what will happen to that day? It will bend towards the normal. Again, when it reaches the surface AC, what happens? It is moving from denser to rarer, so it will bend away from the normal. So here also we can draw the normal. So this angle we can write angle of incidence I. This is R1, we can write, and this is R2. And this angle we can say that angle of emergence. Okay. Angle of emergence. Now we can see that this incident ray PQ. Here we can mention QR and RS. So the incident ray PQ and the emergent ray RS, they are not parallel. In the case of glass lab, you might have seen that the emergent ray is parallel to the extended incident ray. But here you can see that if you Extend this. You can see that they are not parallel, they are making an angle. And this angle is known as, let me tell you, RQ. This angle is known as angle of deviation, is mentioned as P. Okay. The angle between the extended incident ray and emergent ray, that angle is known as angle of deviation. So here we can write PQ is the incident ray. QR is the refracted ray to the prism.
angle of DB. So we can consider the quadrilateral AQMR. If we consider the quadrilateral AQMR, we can write but this angle. These two angles are 90 degree. So angle AQM and the angle AR are 90 degree. So it's a quadrilateral total angle sum is 360 degree. So we can write from the quadrilateral. In the quadrilateral A, Q, M, R, we can write angles A plus angle A, we can write A, okay, no, no need of writing angle A, A plus angle Q, M, R is equal to 5. Why it is like so? Because these two are 90 degree, so this 180 degree, this 60 minus 180 degree, we can write it as 180 degree. Again, we can consider the triangle from triangle to the Decreases 
then it will start to increase. Okay. As angle of incidence increases, angle of deviation decreases, then it starts increase. Okay. So, at a particular angle of incidence, you can, you can see that there is a minimum value of angle of deviation and that we are writing it as minimum deviation when we will mark it as dm. Okay. Dm stands for minimum deviation, angle of minimum deviation. Sorry, 
we got the expression for a fractal index as sin a plus d dm by 2 okay. a plus dm by 2 by sin a by 2 what is this for a fractal index here n2 1 means refractive index of second medium with respect to first medium which means refractive index of the prism glass prism with respect to which medium it is kept okay here if it is kept in air we can modify we can write that equation as n is equal to sin a plus dm by 2 divided by sin this is the expression for refractive index in terms of angle of the prism and angle of minimum deviation. Is it clear? Understood? No. Small angle to prism. What will be the expression for a refractive index for a small angle to prism? We know the expression for refractive index. It is given by n is equal to sin a plus b m 4 by 2 divided by sin a by 2. So this is the expression for refractive index of the prism. And if the angle is small, what happens? All these angles we can consider it as sin theta can be approximately equal to sin theta can be approximately equal to theta for small angles. Since angle of the prism is small, we can say that angle of deviation also will be small. So we can write refractive index is equal to this a plus dm by 2, we can write how? Only for small angle of prism. a plus dm by 2 divided by Or we can write, 2 can be cancelled, n into a is equal to a plus dm, where dm is the minimum deviation, or minimum deviation can be written as n minus 1. So this relation we can use for small angle to this one, angle of Minimum deviation to deviation is equal to L minus 1 into A. Is it clear? Okay. And now we will discuss about dispersion of light through a prism. Dispersion. Okay. We will discuss about dispersion of bright light through a prism. Dispersion of white light in a prism. Okay. So what is meant by dispersion? Dispersion means it is the splitting of white light when it is passing through a transparent dispersive media like a prism or glass. Oh, sorry, dispersive media like a prism. Okay. The splitting of white light so when it passes through a dispersive media, that splitting of white light is known as dispersion. Considering a prism, white light is incident. White light is incident. So, what will happen to this white light when it is incident? So, this is the actual path. So, from here, this rays will be splitted. No? Splitted into Which component will be deviated most and which component will be deviated least? 
that will be deviated least and higher will be deviated most.
dispersion of white light to yeah, dispersing. I hope all of you understood. Thank you.